up guys, Blade here back with a new video and yes I'm finally back with a new video after I believe a month of inactivity and that inactivity is due to college and anytime honestly that I'm going to be inactive it's probably going to be uh, due to college but um, uh, basically in this video uh, we're going to be teaching you guys how to record your screen um, using a program called OBS and I've done a video way back um, a couple years ago on how to do this and um, OBS since then has gone through a lot of changes it's now called OBS Studio and the whole interface and everything is different so I thought I'd make an updated video for you guys um, and uh, basically I'm going to be also showing you some really good settings that you could use so you can get recording on 1080p at 60fps so without any further ado let's get started with the tutorial alright so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and obviously open up the program and if you don't have the program I'll leave a link to it down below in the description but um, it's basically this side over here. Once you come here, um, it is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, but we're doing this for Windows. So uh, basically, if you have Windows, just click on Windows and then click on Download Installer. And this should um, prompt up with the installer. Go ahead and run the installer and uh, fully install OBS. After you've got OBS, go ahead and open it. So let me do that like so. It should be called OBS Studio. That is the new, I guess, the new version of OBS. And uh, once you open up, it should look like this. Now, I do have a theme on. I believe it's the dark theme, so mine kind of looks dark. But um, besides that, um, what you first want to do is, if you don't have, um, it says uh, preview is disabled or something like that, you just right click over here, enable preview. It should pull up your preview right, uh, like so. And after that, um, you want to put your attention to where it says scenes, and this is where you want to, uh, this is where you can organize and create multiple scenes. So if you're streaming. You can have different type of sources for that uh, already pre-organized uh, pre or if you're recording um, but we're going to be recording so we're going to rename uh, not remove sorry but we're going to rename this to uh, record recording why not and um, after that uh, you want to pay your attention to the sources you shouldn't have anything here but basically what you want to do is right click over here and add and then you can add everything you see over here so you can add an image um, you can add your window capture, you can add a display capture. Now display capture is what I use, what I would use to capture my uh, desktop. So anything you're doing on your desktops for tutorials or anything like that. Um, or this is, I would also use this for gameplay. Now you can use game capture um, for gameplay, but it doesn't really work that well with all games. And you do have to be full screen mode on that game. So I would actually just recommend you doing display capture for um, gameplays as well. So um, you basically just click on display capture and you just hit OK and it should come up like so as you can see. There's also a window capture which kind of is similar to display capture but honestly just stick with the display capture. So after you've added the display capture you can like double click on it and here where it says display. If you have multiple displays you can select which one you want but I have uh, one at the moment so I go with that one right here. It should tell your resolution. And you can check this box if you want to capture your uh, cursor or not. I'm going to hit OK on that. Um, this mixer is where you control your audio. Now we'll come back to that in a little bit. But we're just going to jump right into the settings right here. And um, this is where you're going to go through some settings um, to hopefully get you the best settings so you can record with no lag. But anyways, um, so once you're on this main screen, you can just mess with the theme and um, the updates and stuff like that. It's nothing much over here. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump into the output. And that's where you want to kind of, this is where we want to like uh, adjust our quality settings and all that stuff. So it's pretty important. So um, once you're um, on the oppo screen, go ahead and change the oppo to advanced. It should be on simple by default, but we want advanced. And after that, after you change it to advanced, we're gonna go to recording. And here we want to um, go ahead and just leave the type as standard. And the recording path is basically where you want to save all your videos to on your computer. Now um, you can go ahead and hit browse and change this to um, wherever you want. And I would highly recommend you doing this because at default it's probably set to some random place. Anyway, so um, you would basically just make a folder anywhere you want, maybe even on your desktop, call it uh, recordings or gameplays or whatever you want, right? And then hit enter then select that folder like that and it'll change the path to that and this is where all your videos will be stored and if you have another drive or anything like that you can obviously go to that drive and save your um, save your recordings there as well if you don't have enough space or something like that that is also a good idea too 
So I'm just gonna put back my old recording path just like that, but that's how you would set that up. All right, and for the recording format, I would change that to MP4 and I track, I'll just leave it on one. And now in quarter is where it might get different for some of you guys. But basically, um, this is what you will, uh, this is what OBS will use to encode your uh, video. So basically, um, I do have a NVIDIA graphics card. That's why I can use the NVIDIA uh, encoder H.264. So I would go with that if you have that choice. Now, if you have an AMD card, I believe it's called uh, OpenCL or GL, I forgot, and probably OpenCL, and uh, you could use that as well, or you could just use the default X264, which isn't that great, but um, if you honestly, if you do have the option to get the NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA H.264 or the OpenCL, I'd go with that. So I have that, so I'm gonna go with that. And now for the rescale output, um, you can do this if you want to, for say, record, even though you have a 1080p monitor, but you wanna downscale your, um, the final video to say uh, 720p for smaller file size and just you don't really need the 1080p for some reason um, you can do that but um, I'm gonna obviously want the 1080p so I'm just gonna leave it at 1920 by 1080 and uncheck the rescale output um, that you don't have to mess with now where it says rate control I would put it on constant bit rate which will pretty much give you the best um, a constant basically bit rate as it says um, there is VBR, but um, that's variable and I wouldn't really go with that. There's also lossless, which will give you a huge uh, file size, so I wouldn't go with that. Um, anyways, now the bitrate is where it will again get a little bit different. Now this is pretty important and it kind of also depends a lot on your um, the, your computer hardware. So like if your computer isn't that great, um, you probably don't want to have the bitrate at too high. Now I will leave a chart that YouTube recommends on the screen right now and it should say like if you're doing 1080p at 30 FPS um, it does say to do like 5000 I believe or something, no 8000 and if you're doing 1080p at 60 FPS which what we're doing it recommends 12000 although honestly if you do know that you have a pretty decent fast computer you would actually just add about like 10,000 more to that bit rate if you can. Now this is where you will kind of have to still play around with um, Say uh, you do put like uh, 12,000 bit rate um, as the uh, you know as a bit rate here. Uh, I would highly recommend you to just start recording and see if your computer can handle it at that bit rate. If it's not, just keep on coming back to the settings and lowering it down until you get a no lag uh, experience. So um, my computer is pretty good, so I'll just go with uh, I'm just gonna put 25,000 uh, bit rate. All right, so um, keyform interval, which leave that at zero. Preset default profile main level auto, and we're gonna check on to uh, use two pass encoding. Uh, we're gonna leave GPU at zero and B frames at two. Now we're just gonna hit apply, and we're gonna move on to the audio tab here. And the audio bit rate I have is set to 320. Now that is the highest. Um, that would pretty much give you the best audio quality. Um, although again, uh, in in exchange for file size so again if you want to keep the file size low um, I would probably go down to 160 or 192 somewhere like that but um, if you don't really care that but uh, about that too much if you have a lot of space on your computer but not I'll just uh, put it at the highest as you can so um, basically after that just go ahead and apply on there as well all right now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the audio section but before we do that we want to check something so uh, go ahead and find the sound icon in your system tray right click it go to um, recording devices and this should pop up right here and uh, this pretty much shows you all the mic and stuff that is connected to your computer now I'm gonna be using my blue Yeti microphone to do my recording so we're gonna go uh, hover over that right click it and we're gonna go to properties we're gonna go into advanced and here you should show you the default format so just keep a note of what it says so um, mine says 48,000 Hertz or 48 kilohertz so just uh, keep that in mind uh, we're gonna hit OK and back out of that and now we're gonna go into audio so where's the sample rate go ahead and choose which sample rate you have either 44.1 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz I had the 48 so we're gonna go ahead and choose that um, channels we're gonna leave in stereo desktop audio device just leave it at default you should automatically find it and for the mic I would actually change that to whatever mic you're gonna be using so I'm gonna be using my blue Yeti stereo microphone as you can see so I'm just gonna go ahead and select that and we're gonna hit apply and then we're gonna go ahead and just move on to video. All right, so in the video tab, this is where you can tinker with the resolution and the frame rate, stuff like that. So where this is base canvas resolution, this is the highest resolution that your monitor can support. 
So we're going to leave that as, as is, minus 1080p, so we're going to go with that. Now output is what you want your video to come out in, so I'm obviously come out in 1080p, so I'm going to leave it at 1920 by 1080 but you can drop that down and select 720p if you really want to, uh, you want the video to be in 720p, again, for file size or something like that. But um, another reason you could use this is because uh, for monitors, say if you have a monitor that is, has a really weird resolution like 1440 by 10, uh, 810, you can, uh, I would actually highly recommend you to downscale that to 1280 by 720p because, well, if you upload that 1440 by 810 to YouTube, it'll just look weird. So, um, but obviously I want mine to be 1080p, so we're going to set it at that. The downscale filter, um, it should be on bicubic by default, which isn't bad, but um, Lancos is a little bit better. Uh, I'll give you a uh, better scaling if you, um, if you have the, PC power to do it. Now, if your PC isn't that good, just leave it at default by cubic. Um, where is this custom uh, FPS value? This is where you can set the frame rate of the video. Now, um, I'm going to go with 60. Obviously, this is a 1080p 60 FPS uh, settings tutorial, but um, that that would give you that would be the best for tutorials and gameplays and stuff like that. So I would go with 60 FPS, and YouTube obviously supports it. So why not? Um, uh, you can also do 30 on video. I'm just going to leave that at 60. Now we're going to move over, or before that, we're going to hit apply. So is what we just put. We're gonna go to hotkeys and you can set some hotkeys to obviously start and stream or I mean start recording is what we're doing. So if you just click on start recording and you click on any key that you wanted to set it to, as you can see I put start recording to F1, start recording to F2, you can do that. I really don't use that so I'm just gonna leave that all blank. Now we're gonna go into advanced and so here you just wanna um, uh, change a few things. So where's this process priority? I would actually just set that to above normal. Um, on video, uh, where's this render? Um, I have direct 3D, so I would select that. I believe if AMD card, you might have to use OpenGL. I'm not too sure, but I'm just gonna go with that. And color space, you can just leave it at that. Color format, you can leave it at that. And YUV color range, I'll just put that to full. But everything else, just make it like how it is. Um, it should already be like this by default. And uh, we're pretty much good with that. So you would just hit apply and okay. And, all right, if you still see a blank screen on your screen for some reason, um, and you do have a display capture right here, uh, basically just uh, click on the eye icon and once it turns white you should be able to see your screen like so and on the mixer over here where it says mic uh, just go ahead and enable those sounds so I think I believe it was already on mute so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it to enable it and then on mic yeah I would put it all the way up to around that area and for the desktop audio this is your gameplay sound or any desktop audio so I put that to a little bit just around uh, that much and or we can bump it up a little bit why not to around that much. I don't want too much, you know, gameplay audio. I want my voice to be heard more than that. So that's how I set it up usually. But after that, that's pretty much it. You just click, literally click on start recording anytime you want to record. And I can just do something for example, I could just go to my computer, go into my hard drive or do whatever you want. Um, this is the part where you're probably going to be in a game recording the gameplay, obviously, or recording a tutorial or some sort. But anyways, um, after you've done that, just pull back up OBS uh, whenever you want to stop the recording. So once you pull it up, just go ahead and hit stop recording. But before that, um, just do keep note of this where it says recording. That's how long you've been recording. Where it says CPU, that's how much uh, CPU you're utilizing at the moment and uh, the FPS that is set on. So we're going to hit stop recording. And once it stops uh, recording, we're going to navigate to the file path that we allocated um, in the settings. So um, mine, I believe, should be on video projects and finish clips. And here you will find your um, video. So where whatever path you allocate in the settings, that's where all the videos are going to be stored. And I can just go ahead and show you some properties of this. I believe this was a uh, 33 second video, which came out to be uh, 55 megabytes, which isn't that bad. But um, again, uh, I would lower the bit rate if you really want to lower file size. But um, again, that reduces some quality. Just keep that in mind. And uh, as you can see, the frame rate is at 60. I can go ahead and play the video for you guys. Um, I'm probably going to mute this right here, but I do hear that my sound was also uh, recorded. But as you can see, I did that little thing, and you can see that in the video. And the quality is pretty good. So that's pretty much about it for the tutorial. Again, if you want a streaming tutorial, how to stream with the OBS, I'll uh, leave a like on the video. Be sure to do that. Um, I've been really busy, guys, So, um, but I've been working on a few videos, and they should be coming pretty soon as well. But um, besides that, guys, if this video helped, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and until then, guys, we're back with a new video.